In this video, I'm going to go through two past papers for um, normal distribution. Um, two past paper questions. You can find these questions in your pink booklet or online. So hopefully with this video, you'd be able to understand how to solve these questions, what techniques you have to use, and how to interpret them. So for the first question, we have the lifetime of bul light bulbs in L is measured and they have a normal distribution. Uh, L is measured in hours and the curve is shown below. The first question wants the mean. Now remember that the normal distribution curve is center about the mean, which means that right at the center here is your mean value. So that's all you have to do. Mean is equal to 5,800. You didn't need to do any calculations. Always remember to write the units. This is just a one mark question, so that's all you have to do. As for part B, it tells you that the standard deviation is 850 hours. Find the probability that the lifetime in hours is greater than or equal to 5,000 and less than or equal to 6,000. Now, writing this in this form means that you need to find uh, the area or the probability between two intervals. So you don't have a less than, um, you don't have a lower bound of infinity or an upper bound of infinity. So for these questions, it's always a good idea to sketch. And you never know, sometimes you do get method marks for sketching. So always, always sketch. Um, all you have to do with these sketches, these random sketches um, or very rough sketches in these questions is just to do a normal distribution curve and then you write your mean down here, 5,800. And then um, you want the probability between 5,000 and 6,000. So this is the area that you need. Obviously you shade with your pencil or your pen. This is the area that you need. Now, the, if you notice, since we have the standard deviation of 850, if I add or subtract 850 from the mean, I won't be able to get to 5,000 nor 6,000, which means that we cannot use the typical percentages that we have. Um, and so in this case, you'll have to use your GDC calculator and you just write normal CDF. Your lower boundary, your lower number is 5,000, and then upper boundary is 6,000. Your mean is 5,800, and your standard deviation is 850. You plug this into the calculator, and it should give you 0 0.420. This is obviously rounded. If you round, be careful, you need to make sure that you're either rounding up or down depending on the number. Don't just pick the number. Um, make sure that I had to check if I had to round the zero or not. So this is your answer for question two. Question uh, for part B, sorry, for part C, the company states that 90% of the light bulbs have a lifetime of at least K hours. Find the value of K. Now at least K is another way of saying um, the area greater than k is equal to 90%. Because if I have my normal distribution curve, this is 5,800, there's a specific k where the area above it is 90%. Because the, life, the bulbs need to have at least k hours, and they could have more, but the least they could have is k. And so we're looking for an area to the right rather than to the left. Now, the... 90%, um, it might seem very tempting to do K and then shade this area, but actually since it's 90%, remember that this area, the area from here up to the mean, all of this represents 50%, which means that if I'm looking at 90%, I'm obviously going to go slightly over. So somewhere here will be K and this whole area will be my 90%. Okay, again, if I, if I did put K in, this is the mean, if I did put K here and I shaded this area, this area will definitely be less than 50% because this is 50%, and so I'm shading less than 50%, so it doesn't make sense. Um, the area that I'm looking at is uh, definitely more than 50%. So, um, we ignore this part. 
and we stick to our K being here and this area being 90%. So obviously it should give you an indication that you need to use inverse normal. So in here you use inverse norm. And the area underneath, well remember that you, this is the area, mean, and standard deviation. Now, your calculator will not be able to find the area here, if you, especially if you have the older ones. If you have the newer one, you could just put 0 0.9 and then pick right tail. Um, if you don't, and you only have um, some of the older uh, graphic calculators, your calculator will be able to calculate less than k. It will not be able to calculate more than k, the inverse. And so if I actually just try and find the inverse um, of, sorry, the reverse area, then I'd be able to solve it. It will still give me the same k. So what we're going to do is find this area, and it's going to give us the same exact k. So to find the area, remember the area under the whole normal distribution curve is 100%. So 100% minus 98% is 10% and this as an area you really need to convert this to probability remember that and then this will be 0 0.1 and then the mean is 5800 and the standard deviation is 850 so this will give you the value of k the value of k that such that the area underneath it is 0 0.1, but also coincidentally that the area above it is 90% or 0 0.9. So it's, um, it should work either way. Again, if you have the more newer GDC calculators and you can write your, um, you can pick a right or a left tail, you can actually um, just stick to the 90%. Uh, for this question, you will get um, k to be equal to, so after you plug this into your calculator, you will get k equal to 4710.68168, um, which you could just round to, um, if you want to write a shorter one, 4710.68. Now remember that the question wants it correct to the nearest 100. Um, if you didn't do the correct rounding, then it's going to be wrong. So this is your nearest unit, tens, hundreds. So I'm looking at the seven, gonna look at the number next to it, it's one, it's less than five, so I don't add anything to the seven. And so fi my final answer is 4,700 hours. So the area above it is 90%. Um, so this is the hours, 90% um, of the light bulbs have at least 4,700 hours. The second part of this normal distribution past paper questions will be a much longer question on normal distribution. Hopefully you've attempted this question and you can head on to part two.